In this video we're going to create some reusable procedures to allow the turtle to draw uh, initials on the screen just by typing in the letter of the initial itself. Now the turtle doesn't know how to do that yet. For instance, if we type T into the command line, it says it doesn't know how to T. So we're going to teach the turtle how to do T's and other letters come to that. I need to make a few basic decisions about my letters before I begin. So I've decided that my letters are going to be 120 pixels tall and 100 pixels wide. And then I'm going to have a 25 pixel gap between my letters. So bear that in mind when I make my letters now. So to start with, I'm going to actually just draw the letter on the screen using commands FD120 for the 120 high letter. Uh, left turn 90, forward 50 because the letters are 100 pixels wide, so BK100, and if I draw that, I get my T. But the only trouble is, the turtle is actually still on the edge of the T, and the pen is down. Now I want to return the turtle to the point at which I can start writing again. So I want my turtle to be pen up, move down to here and across, and then face in the direction that it was originally placed. So here I'm going to say pen up, left turn 90, forward 120, which takes me down to the bottom, left turn 90 again, forward 25, which is the gap between the letters, left turn 90, and then pen down, ready to write again, which, if I run that command, takes my turtle over there, ready to draw again. Now, I'm going to copy those commands which well, was sort of right. There, there's a slight error with that, but you'll see how it works in a minute. Um, so I'm going to use the Ed All button, which means Edit All. And this is all of the commands that the turtle has been taught to complete all of the procedures. Now, the command I want to teach the turtle to do is how to T. So T is the name of the command. And then I'm going to paste, Control V, all of the commands that I took that I copied from here up to here in the in the command editor. So file, save and exit means I can now use that in this interface. So reset my turtle. Again, this time I'm just going to type T. Last time it said I don't know how to T, but I should have just taught the turtle how to T now. So typing T and pressing enter, the T is completed. The other letters of my initials I need to draw are A and S. So if I go back to the editor, I can enter to A, enter, enter, and then if I've started a procedure, all procedures start with 2, and they have to finish with end. And then I also want to teach it how to S, enter, enter, and because I've started with a 2, I have to have an end. Now, I could just write these commands in here, but I prefer to have a practice on the screen first, so file, save, and exit. And now I can start my FD120, right turn 90, FD100, right turn 90, FD60, because I only want to go halfway down, right turn 90, FD100, BK100, and I'm back to my down straight, so that means left turn 90, FD60. Right, so that should be my A. There we go. Now I need to do my pen up and left turn 90. Forward 25, the gap between my letters. Left turn 90 and then pen down, PD. And so that takes it over there. That's my command to do the letter A and put the cursor, put the turtle in the right place. Control C, edit all. That was my letter A, so I'm pasting those commands into the A file, save and exit. One last thing I've got to do, file, save as, and I'm going to call this program, like I have here, initials version 2, LGO, save. That's now saved in my logo folder, so I can email it to myself or load it again for later use. 